Hey guys, what is up? This is going to be a first, I assure you. Will it be the last? I'm not sure. Um, but, long story short, first off, I want to thank all the channel members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank any of you guys who come in and check out my knife, my ADC content. Um, I really appreciate it. If you're so inclined, if you'll hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it really helps me out. I was at Walmart today because I have to go get my dad these quite, um, like, high-calorie energy type drinks, the shakes, you know, because he's old. And I uh, happened to be walking by the uh, sporting goods and saw this $34.97 fixed blade. And curiosity killed me. I have no affiliation with uh, Wally World. This is um, a purchase I made. Um, it's Swiss Tech. I think what attracted me to it was the packaging. It was, in, it was behind glass. You know, that's what sucks. I mean, I'm in Alabama, a state that's pretty liberal with the knife laws. Or, you know, they don't really give a shit. And I had to get somebody to open the glass, let me look at it. You know, all that stuff. But the packaging is just like this, right? So I had no idea what it was going to cost. Pulled it out. It is a Swiss Tech light fixed blade knife with plastic sheath. So I tried to find it somewhere else, and I get a feeling it's a Walmart brand, designed, developed USA. We know it's not made there. Designed USA, made in China. In China. GreatStartTools.com in Arkansas. So Arkansas is where Walmart is. So I bet this is an internal company. But anyways, let's see what we got here. So it says open, and it's got a magnetic. I mean, I don't buy things for packaging, but magnetic class opens up. Says you got a coated D2 steel blade, spine jimping, full tank construction, premium canvas micarta handle, premium hard sheath, hammering pommel, whatever the fuck that is. And then we've got these taped down. It's a little guy, and that's what, when I saw the box, I figured it was going to be a little guy. So that's kind of what attracted me to it. But... I'm just going to tell you, packaging doesn't mean anything. I think when you look at Spydercos and you look at the way even Hinder or Strider send out knives, very minimalistic, and that keeps landfills from being filled. It keeps litter from coming out. All right, so what we've got here is we've got this little highly textured knife that's very thin that doesn't really look like my SE Candura. And I guess these numbers were pointing out the different features that I wasn't paying attention to. I guess our sheath is under here. Using some interesting materials, sustainable looking materials. Uh, all right, we got that. We got that. We've got the Swiss Tech story, inspired by Switzerland with the rich history of craftsmanship that dates back, blah, blah, blah. What's that have to do with this? I don't know. I'm giving you this on first impressions. Their packaging for $34.97 before taxes. After taxes in Alabama, it was $38.12, so under 40 bucks. That's a well-packaged knife, right? It says it's D2. This is just an unboxing. I'm going to beat the hell out of it. I'm going to review it. Um, I don't have any way to even use an affiliate link at Walmart. But I just, it feels like a good knife. It looks like something that might be a good first fixed blade for somebody. So I wanted to try it out. So it says uh, blade thickness, and we'll measure this, 0.1 inches, 0.29 millimeters. That's something that I could test right now because I've always been curious how to read, like when Jared says something thousandths, I don't know what the thousandths would be. So I've got 0.12, they're calling it 0.129 millimeters. 29 millimeters. 
So, all right. So, and then it says, it's got whatever this Tacil, which is a trademark coating. Maybe I'll research that. Probably not. Drop point blade. Canvas micarta. It looks like it's got a G10 liner. Um, sheath material, fiberglass reinforced nylon, knife weight, 2.5 ounces. Overall length, 6 inches. Blade length, 2.75. All right, guys. Second opinion, how it feels in my hand. I'm freaking digging it. I'm a little bit panicked. But I think I can take the sheath off. I think I just need to find the right size Allen key. And that's not it, but let's see how tight it is. It's the next size up. But let's see if this will... Oh yeah, oh yeah. The only reason I was wondering is... I don't like to carry knives the way that most people that sell them like this want you to carry them. I like to put a strap on it or an ulti clip. Now, that is going to work fine. Really good retention on the sheath. All right, I'm going to give you that right now. The sheath's not going anywhere. It's got a great push-off area. You do have these little things left behind where the, sh the clip was, but they sit behind that tang, and I don't think, even if I've got an ulti clip on here as a pocket dropper, let's see something. The one thing I've noticed about a lot of these sheaths is they won't fit the standard hardware. You've got to get kind of your own hardware to get them to actually mount up. So in this case, I would want it in my pocket. Don't want it down like that. Don't want it like that. Definitely don't want it like that. So I'll use a shorter ulti clip. But what I'm curious about yeah, I didn't think these would go through. So this is a good reason to either use some of my smaller hardware or probably run a couple of horizontal straps because this is knife is short enough, in my opinion, to wear as an appendix carry knife. I am impressed with the look of the knife. I'm impressed with the presentation of the knife and the packaging of the knife and the fact that the materials are sustainable, not that, not to sound like a tree hugger or, or anything like that, but I am very conscious of landfills and shit floating in the ocean. And if you can make stuff that's made out of recycled materials, more power to you. Um, and you know, this little belt clip thing, where did that screw go? It's stuck in there. There's one of the screws. Where'd the other one go? I had the other one right there. Where'd that other screw go? It's sitting right there. Huh. Anyway, I don't know how terrible that would be because it does look like you can mount it horizontally too see that's pretty cool so what we'll do is we'll put this one in because i know i'll find the other one i don't have to find there it is it was stuck somehow in there this came from god all right so we're going to try to switch around from traditional carry to scout carry guys Again, designed in the USA. Take that what you will. Um, I'm sure it's not a, you know, it's, it's D2. It's inexpensive materials, but we're going to look at it together. I'm going to put it through paces, and I will cut wood with it. I will do some stuff to see how it holds up. Let's see how it cuts paper. Let's see if it's even sharp. 
cut some cardboard with it because it is thin. You know, it, to me, it doesn't look like a hard use fixed blade. On the spine, it has D2 and like, and this, or like, and this, uh, Tequil or tequil finish is around the entire thing and I guess this little jimped area That's part of the D2 is what that pommel was that they were describing All right guys this thing is a freaking laser Not digging the red liner. It doesn't, you know, it's not a deal breaker. I wish it was, uh, I don't know. That's, that is, that's just stupid. That's subjective. I was going to say, I wish it was green or black or just regular. Um, I like the little maker's mark. Minimal branding, right? You've got a logo. You've got Swiss Tech. You've got D2 kind of hid nicely here on the spine with like, which I guess is the, it's the name of the knife. So this is the Swiss Tech like. What attracted me to this knife is in their display, which was totally barren, they had a, a Swiss Tech knife that was about this big, more of a bushcrafter looking knife. And I asked if they had others, they had two. They had this one and what looked like a folder that I didn't even want to see. But this one was interesting because um, this is, again, the packaging. That's what you see behind the window, right? It just said that, like precision fish bl fixed blade, hammer in, canvas my car to premium sheath. Guys, I'm telling you right now, and again, I'm sure you can find this on Walmart's website, but I found it in the store. Just happened to be there. Happened to look. It was an impulse buy. The handle's a little thin. I could see if the handle was just a little beefier, it might be more comfortable. But again, this is a light knife. This is a light duty knife. Um, let's, since I've been going on a roll with this box, Let's go on a roll with it a little more. I like a fixed blade so much better than a folder when I'm cutting stuff that requires a lot of time. Um, a good fixed blade, I used to use my uh, Michael Imler... Uh, I gave it away on a Friday night flick. Sea, sea Snake from um, Artisan Cutlery. I used to love that knife. That was one of my first fixies. But yeah, guys, this thing... Let's see how it cuts with paper now. We would hope it's just as slicey, right? I hit the sharpening choil. This cutter aired. Guys, very slicey. Very surprised. Not that it's a good knife. I haven't determined that yet. I'm surprised that I was walking through Walmart with a cart with, what, 48 Equate shakes in it and saw a knife that made me think, Huh, I wonder if they got other Swiss Techs. What is Swiss Tech? So I jumped on my phone. I saw it was a Walmart deal. Um, took me to their website because I couldn't find them anywhere else. There's a Swiss Das Tech knives, but it's something different. I went to their site on Amazon to try to find it, and I couldn't. But this little guy, we will do a full review on it. This is just an unboxing, just a first impressions. And with that being the case... The unboxing and the first impressions, I'm impressed. Um, I would buy another one if I lost it. And I'll give this away on a Friday Night Flicks after I've tested it for a while. But um, if I lost it before I got to review it, I would buy another one because it's a $35, $35 knife. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Um, I will test it. I'm not going to baton with it, even though I could, but I'll jam it, see if the point stays up, see how long the edge lasts. Um, I can tell you that really rough texture is 
kind of nice. Um, I like it. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Anytime you watch, all I ask is please hit the subscribe button if you're so inclined. Hit the like button if you like. Hit the dislike if you don't like. Please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.